Hello friends, my name is Gautam and in this tutorial I will be building a very simple app by which I will be grabbing uh, random 10 authors with their pictures and names and uh, for this I will be using an API uh, this will be the API I will be using random user generator I have given the link in the description you can check so this API is an open source API for generating random user data so you can check out this API so this is this will be very simple tutorial and for this I will be using the JavaScript fetch API for fetching the results and also I will be using vanilla JavaScript pure JavaScript it is known so let me go to my editor and uh, start from scratch and create a new file and save this file as index.html and I will be saving my file in my directory htdocs and I have created a new directory called app so index.html I will create save so in this file I will be having my html structure so let me write it doc type HTML, HTML tag, and after that, let me give a title to it. That is random author generator app, and in the body, we will be having a heading and a unordered list to display our data so in the body first of all we have a heading of authors and after that it, I will be having an unordered list in which I will be displaying my authors so let me give an ID to it let's suppose authors so this is the HTML part so let me include my script also where I will write my JavaScript code. So let me name this as script.js. So let me save this and create my script file and save in the same directory htdocs app and script.js. So this will be my JavaScript file. So first of all I need to create some generic functions since I am using vanilla JavaScript so pure form of JavaScript it is known so let me create a function that is create node so it will be simply creating a node for me and I will be passing an element to it in the function and it will be simply be returning the it will be creating the this specified element by this function document dot create element and the parentheses I pass the element and another function I will write of append so it will append the, the uh, child to the parent I will pass I will pass the parent and the specified element that I want to append and uh, I will just return parent dot append child so this is a method in javascript you will know I will just append the child to the specified parent that I will pass so these are the two functions that I have made so let me just uh, make two variables constant variables so this will be the unordered list that I have declared in my index.html so let me just grab this by document.get element by id and the id name that I have given that is author authors this is authors so it is stored in this ul element it will not change because it is a constant variable and another variable I will declare of url so this will be the url we will be making request so https random user dot me slash api slash question mark 
and uh, we want 10 random authors so in the results parameter I will pass 10 you can give any number here you can give 20 30 40 depending upon your choice so this is the URL so after this comes the fetch API that we are using so in order to use the fetch API just write fetch and pass the URL that you want to fetch so if the request is successful then it returns a promise in the then function and it returns uh, response in various formats but uh, we want to process our data in JSON format so I will just write response and I will be grabbing the response in JSON format so this is the way by which we get the response in JSON and if this request is also successful then it also returns a promise in the then function I will be writing a function if this is successful execute this function so data is returned here in the form of response so let me grab this data and uh, create a new variable let is used in vanilla javascript so let is a convention here and let me make a new variable of authors and grab the uh, response by data dot uh, results and this will be an array because uh, we have passed 10 in the number so 10 authors will be returned so in order to process the data I will just write authors dot map so map is, map is a function in vanilla javascript to process the data and in the function we will pass function author so for each author we need to process these steps so authors is an array of 10 authors for each author we need to perform these instructions that I will write now so first of all I will like to uh, create a variable of li that is list item and I will use my function that is create node that I have already been uh, created that is create node and I will be creating my first li element and I will pass simply li and this will create my li element and I will simply put comma here and after that I will be passing I will creating a, a another variable of image since I put comma here I did not want to write let again and again so that is why I put comma image and I simply will create another node that is create node of image so image element will be created another comma and a span tag I would like to create create node and I type span here and semicolon so this will create three elements for me first of all the li element where the name of the author will be there and the image of the author will be there and span tag will be created so these three tags are created after that we will be setting the image for the author by this method image dot source and author dot picture dot medium so this will set the size of the picture and after that we will set the span tag span dot inner html and after that in the inner html you want to write so this is uh, this is not uh, single quotes this is another type of uh, tag you will be finding this uh, on your keyboard just uh, below the escape key so after the numbers are starting 1 2 3 4 5 just in the top left corner you will find this key just below the escape key so just press this and after that uh, you we will be writing uh, dollar and in two parentheses we will write author dot name dot first so this will print the author first name and similarly after that we will write dollar 
इन टू पैरथिस ऑथर डॉट नेम डॉट लास्ट सो दिस विल प्रिंट द लास्ट नेम ऑफ द ऑथर एंड जस्ट राइट सेमी कॉलम सो दिस इज कम्प्लीट सो आफ्टर दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड द एलिमेंट्स जस्ट वी वॉन्ट टू अपेंड द एलिमेंट्स वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस फंक्शन ऑफ अपेंट सो नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस फंक्शन सो नाउ वी कैन जस्ट राइट हेयर अपेंट एल आई सो एल आई इज अ पेरेंट एलिमेंट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू अपेंड द इमेज ऑन टू इट सेकेंडली वी वॉन्ट टू अपेंड द स्पैन टैग इन द एल आई एलिमेंट ऑल्सो एंड लास्टली वी वॉन्ट टू अपेंड दैट एल आई एलिमेंट टू द एक्चुअल यू एल दैट इज अनऑर्डर लिस्ट दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड सो दीज थ्री लाइन्स ऑफ कोर्ट आर एक्चुअली जस्ट अपेंडिंग द एलिमेंट फॉर अस सो दैट वी कैन सी द रिजल्ट सो आफ्टर दैट लास्टली इफ एनी एरर अकर्स सो अवर रिस्पॉन्स इज नॉट देयर और द रिक्वेस्ट इज अनसक्सेसफुल देन देर इज ए मीन्स बाई विच वी कैन गेट द एरर बाय द कैच फंक्शन सो डॉट कैच फंक्शन सो इट टेक्स अ फंक्शन एंड इन द फंक्शन इट टेक्स द एरर दैट हैज अकर्ड सो वी कैन राइट द एरर हेयर बाय द फंक्शन वी कैन प्रिंट द एरर इन द कंसोल कंसोल डॉट लॉक एंड बाय दिस मैथड जेसन डॉट स्ट्रिंगीफाई एंड वी कैन पास द एक्चुअल एरर दैट हैज अकर्ड and semicolon so this completes the script and this completes the application so let me save this and also save my index.html and execute it for you so let me close this localhost app index.html this is my path so if i click enter so as you can see here my 10 random images of authors have been appeared so this is the image and subsequently you can see the author's name and these are 10 you can count 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 7 8 9 10 so you can give any number in the choice so thank you guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial till then take care bye bye thank you guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much